Ni ajo wase, mina ito Alfredo Yugi na hii ni bidi yangu. Ni ajo wase, mina ito Alfredo Yugi, mini designer, mini aquarist, mini welder, mini carpenter na co-founder wa Aqual Design Studio. Karibu sana, enjoy. My name is Alfred Oyugi. I'm an aquarist. I started this profession in 2014. Up around September, it was a time when the only memory is a shule. So I'm not after I like to tapanya na life ni 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 ni. So kapatana na bestia ngo na ito brayo jana chongu musana. This journey was very, very amazing. There were challenges that we had to be in the world. So, we had aquariums. We had water features. We had to make aquariums from scratch. But then, we moved to kujaribu kujitengeneza hizi aquariums tuna realize kuna vitu vingine tunaweza kufanyia eh tunaweza fanya metal work kumbe tunahitaji kutengeneza stand za aquarium tunahitaji kufanya carpentry tunahitaji kutengeneza accessories zingine tunahitaji huko hapo ndio sasa tuka move to a position where we needed to diversify our skills so we started to look for people or mentors we could gain these skills from kapatana na welders una try to learn a few things kapatana na carpenters una try to learn a few things and then kuna a magical thing in our youtube university so pale ndio we got to learn a lot from the internet which at least got to got to got us to a point where tuna tuna get to expose ourselves to so much that we had to actually try and keep up na pace yenye inaendelea kwa dunia among the big four agenda yeah the government of Kenya ni manufacturing so we tried to at least align our profession and our skills to e big four agenda tukajiuliza e big four agenda ni nini ni kutengeneza nini ni kufanya nini exactly for the country so for that we had to at least keep up with the pace that enye likuwa kwa kwa industry yenyewe around 20 2016 nakumbuka 2015 2016 Uh, my partner my boss Sonkoango neto Brayo akaenda shule kusome interior design mimi nikabaki nikifanya a few things aquariums to be specific water features uh, metal work woodwork so i had to i had to keep up with the with the momentum that was around
Sydney na aquariums na water features. Aquarium ni home ya fish. Ni a way ya bring nature to your home, to your office space, to your restaurant, to that place unataka ku feel that outdoor feeling kwa nyumba yako ama kwa compound yako. So kuna various types of aquariums. Kuna wall aquariums, kuna standalone aquariums. Kuna water features designs kada kuna outdoor features zenye zina involve ni 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 pond inaweza hold samaki zingine ni water features zenye unataka ile feeling ya maji you want to feel that trickling feeling of water ni kama uko pale kwa nature typically kwa forest mahali umetulia that is basically what an aquarium is or what a water feature is so an aquarium can be owned by anyone that is usually a that is usually a, a myth that people usually have that an aquarium or a water feature is something that should be owned by a specific caliber of people but this is is in view to anyone can have actually these are therapeutic uh, features especially aquariums ukiwa na pale kwa nyumba uko na stress unasikia ni kama Hey, uh, stress imekuwa mingi sana unasikia uko na pressure sana ukiangalia tu pale samaki akicheza cheza aki, aki move around aki move around uh, there's a, a feeling that kuna kuna life somewhere there is a hope somewhere that is basically what that that the water feature brings to your home or your house or your office space or your restaurant any space basically kuna various types za fish uh, ziko categorized in two mostly kuna freshwater fish na kuna marine fish sisi deal na freshwater fish sana sana uh, the most common being goldfish kuna goldfish hapa uh, the rest mostly ni different species za goldfish wengine ni other types uh, za samaki kuna a very big spectrum ni wengi sana kuna types mingi sana za samaki so uh, from from our slogan slogan yetu ni nature meets design hapo ndio tuna hapo ndio na maji ile ile nature na design na na najaribu kuleta ile feeling kwa wako hapo ndiyo na nakuwa welder hapo ndiyo nakuwa carpenter hapo ndiyo nakuwa nakuwa mini aquarist pale na nacheza na design vile ile chuma ita blend in na stand ya aquarium u feel yenyewe pana this is not just any other stand this is this is a uh, an a piece of art this is a uh, a uh, a piece of ni something you can really appreciate every time you look at Nilianza hii job 2014 at a time when I was uh, I was trying to look for something to do with my life and since I had the skills Uh, zile skills za utotoni za, kuja, za kucheza na vitu na ku, kutengeneza vitu for myself uh, I decided to join this venture ya making aquariums and water features So as I was I, as I was moving pole pole I got the chance to meet various people and wakakuwa customer wangu industry programs industry uh, design industry for six years i've had the opportunity to work here what various broad sum in the family company kazi in the family hotel kazi individuals ni kwa nyumba na kuundia aquarium pale iko na stand iko pale kwa sitting room right next to the tv 
uh, while you're watching your TV una dogo na divert attention na kale pale ya kwetu uh, I've also had the opportunity to find a hotel kazi eh uh, kitu kama water features fountains outdoor fountains for gardens uh, pale nje kuna zile kuna zile features uh, biggest challenge me pata kasiano ni watu hawajui the importance ama the need for an aquarium or a water feature for their home for their restaurant space for their office space kuna uh, zile meat zenye watu wako nazo but these are just luxury goods for people well uh kuna good news aquariums ni therapeutic ina maanisha ni ni kama dawa for the mind kutiliza kiki kwa ume after a whole day of stress ama ukiwa pale kwa hoteli umetulia kukunywa chai there's that effect ya kutuliza kutuliza akili that is basically that is mostly the biggest challenge another challenge is support from our leaders um our industry doesn't have a space in in the design ama the construction industry it never seem to not work on see as as important in the industry as we have as we have been called but this is a real industry this is an industry that that has employed people very many people in the world uh, that is the, the biggest challenge at Nasa Sema yenye tuko nayo inabidi unajaribu unajaribu sana ukiwa youth ku ku convince ku convince hata wazazi wako that in industry inaweza kupatia a living i have earned a living from kutengeneza features water features ku design vitu ku ku kutengeneza tv stands kutengeneza basically interior design as a whole i have had the opportunity to make a living from all this and the mostly at the the biggest at another big challenge ni ni support from our parents from our guardians from from our elders from our peers kuona kuona industries zingine zinakaa kama si relevant Uh, kufanya kazi na mikono yako inakaa ni kama ni kazi chafu. Well, in real sense, hii kazi chafu, hii kazi chafu inaweza kupatia chakula, inaweza kulipia rent, inaweza kupeleka kutoka hapa uende majuni. Ime 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 kuona watu singe pata opportunity basically adiama viraisi kuona. I have had the opportunity to sit with people and discuss about uh, projects projects uh, kubwa to to my in my space ni kubwa kubwa some uh, designing spaces for 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 restaurants uh, for consultant to, to to consider a certain a certain people uh, enjoyment ya watu wakiwa pale ndani which is very important to me making people happy usually uh, is is that is that is that feel that it gives me joy kuona pale kwa space ya hospitali kwa restaurant kwa reception pale kuna mtu ameangalia kuna makafuni hapo sawa sana kuna hiyo fulfill fulfillment in your mind so uh, kuna kuna that enjoyment ya kufanya kazi na mikono yenye inakosa ku appreciate na society as a whole kuna kitu fulfilling kama kufanya ile kitu unapenda ku follow passion yako I, I, i was once employed for a shop a movie i used to sell movies at some point i could join account school i used to want to become an accountant but from my talent from what 
I used to do it my hands. I realized I could create a career out of it. Na hapo ndo nilianza, nikaanza ku push, ku push, ku push and now under this number that and that gave me a lot of joy. That gave, gave me the purpose to want to wake up tomorrow and in the lay. Now what I, I was doing was that I had to prove to myself that naweza fanya. Kuna that mentality ya uh, ati ukianza kitu we watu wanje watasema sijui nini nini but I I I made sure that hizo voices zote nazifungia. I listened to my heart na nafungulia ile kitu yote Mungu amenipatia ile talanta yangu nikajaribu as much as possible kui 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 harness to to move forward na nitengeneze ya career out of it. Naweza taka sana kuongelesha vijana pale nje. Kidogo kidogo umetulia pale nimeoka ama ni sijui nini kutulia tu ku watch movie kucheza PS that doesn't do any good to you that does not help you that does not help your future eh, ile kitu tu itakutoa kwa ile position yenye huko ile kitu itakutoa kwa ile comfort zone yenye huko ni ile effort utaput unataka kuwa nani unataka kufanya nini maisha hiyo idea crazy uko nayo kwa kichwa yako hivyo ndio gari ilitengenezwa hiyo idea crazy uko nayo hivyo ndio ndege ilianza kuendeshwa so pole pole eh, a day at a time a day at a time it is never easy it, it has never easy it has never been easy and it will never be easy so uki uki move from one step to the next to the next uta realize that growth is the only way uta uta realize that growth is the only way that you can actually learn that there is another day there is another day there is another day to wake up na fight for what you want and what you can get